Sting sang about an Englishman in New York, but you're about to meet an Englishman who now regards the Irish Open as a home fixture. The transplanted golfer in question is 37-year-old Simon Thornton. I came over here probably about just over 15 years ago now. I uh, originally from, from Yorkshire. Um, came to Royal County Down, Newcastle County Down. I came across literally just to do six months working in the summer there. Um, I rode across the top 20 golf courses in the world when I was at university and I got a reply from Newcastle and thought I'll give it a go. Um, came over to Royal County Down and, and, and stayed there. Haven't looked back since. Met a girl, married and children and that's it. Thornton arrived on these shores to pursue his golfing dream of playing on tour, but with a set of skills not yet fit for purpose. Much hard work lay ahead. How far are we? One thing that I would never be going to do was play professional golf. I couldn't, couldn't envisage that at all. I came over as a seven handicapper. Literally, I was a seven handicapper. Um, and when I moved into the shop, I, I had to work up my game to get my handicap down to, to turn in pro levels, four handicap or less. And to get to where I am now is pretty much a dream come true. Yeah, it's been great. And to certainly to win an event on the European Tour is, if you'd have said that 10 years ago to me, I'd have laughed at you. Sometimes in sport, though, dreams become reality. Dedication paid off when 12 months ago, Simon achieved a major ambition by winning the Saint-Omer Open in northern France, a tournament he looked set to miss. It was pretty mad. It was a, it was a week that I initially thought I wouldn't get in. Um, I would say I probably had 30th reserve when the entries closed. So anyone out there had pretty much had no expectations. Um, I was seven over after 27 holes as well, thinking, can I change my flight to Friday instead of Sunday, you know? So it was, it was mad and then things turned around and it was whenever we woke up Saturday morning and the wind started to blow, I knew I had a real chance because the scores were so bunched. And I said to a friend of mine, Gareth Shaw, we're rooming together, I said, two five unders will win this. And he says, how are you going to shoot five under in that wind? I said, I don't know, but we'll, we'll give it a go and see, you know? South African Chard van der Waal had posted five under for the tournament leaving Thornton needing this to force a sudden death playoff. I knew it was a make or break putt. I had to hold it. I had to hold it to win or, or you were you know, going home second sort of thing. So um, thankfully went in and then I knew I had the momentum going into the playoff. And it was pretty much roles, roles reversed, except he missed his putt and, and I tapped her in. So it was a great feeling now, a great feeling. In the moments after securing his maiden European Tour title on the first extra hole, Thornton was understandably overwhelmed and dedicated the victory to his late father. It was very emotional, yeah. Um, funny enough, the, the, the way things set out, it, I didn't even think about um, the finance or the, the, what I was going to get from it or the exemptions and things. It was pretty much about winning the event. So all that didn't come into my head, so it didn't make me more nervous or anything. Um, but it was very emotional trying to, to hold the punt it is now, yeah. Especially on uh, Father's Day. Yeah, yeah, it means a lot to me now, yeah, it's even making me cry now, yeah. Now Simon's looking forward to his ninth appearance in the Irish Open and knows he can rely on abundant support from family and friends. We have busloads coming down now, yeah, and things, and the family and sister-in-law and things are, are down already with us, and uh, yeah, there's guys coming down, so it'll be a great week now, yeah. So whatever happens, I'm just going to enjoy the week, and, and then hopefully the boys, the weather's going to be great, the crowds will be great as well, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. That's Simon Thornton, hoping to be the toast of his adopted homeland.